Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to Peaky Blinders Season 1, Episode 1. Super excited to start this show. I've heard tons of good things about it, but I've somehow managed to avoid all spoilers for this show. The only things I do know is that it stars Killian Murphy, and is set in some sort of early 1900s England, and I think it's about some sort of crime life. But that's the extent of my knowledge on this. I'm really intrigued to see more Killian Murphy acting. I know he's a brilliant actor, and I'm sure this show shows it, so I just can't wait to hop into this. If you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for two weeks of early full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's hop into the episode. So this was a Netflix original, huh? What is this? They asked for her. What does that mean? Here's the man. Seems like everyone's scared of him. They cleared the whole way. It's like the boogeyman or something. Sir? This is her. The girl who tells fortunes. What? What does he want with her? What the heck? <laughs> They're doing a magic spell to make her win a race. Is that what's happening? The horse's name is Monaghan Boy. You ladies have a bet yourselves, but don't tell anyone else. So I guess this guy believes in that stuff. <laughs> Birmingham, England, 1919. Very industrial. <laughs> so far, he doesn't seem mean, but everyone was super scared of him. Morning, Mr. Shelby. Mr. Shelby. It's very well known. Peaky Blinders. Finn? <laughs> he was smoking. I'm 11 Sunday. What is their relation? What in the world? I thought this was his house. So we're just big into horse bedding here. Tommy, look at the book. Tommy! All on one of them boy. Good work, John. They really got everyone to bet on his horse. Now you were seen doing the powder trick down at Gaddison Court. Times are hard. People need a reason to lay a bet. Are they gonna like scam everyone that bet on him? Do you have permission from Billy Kimber to be fixing races? Hmm? Hmm. You think we can take on the Chinese and Billy Kimber? Billy's got some bloody army! I think, Arthur. So there's like three gangs right there, huh? <laughs> I think. So that you don't have to. So he's the brains of the operation. I'm calling a family council tonight at 8 o'clock. You hear me? There's trouble coming. Oh boy. What does he mean by that? So is that guy like the boss of their group? Is this some sort of detective? Oh. So that was the guy we just met. So it seems like he's related to Thomas. Oh, their gang's called Peaky Blinders. And they're already on the cops' radar. We're here today to take a vote on strike action. Yes! yes. But before we have a show of hands for that, let's have a show of hands from all those who fought in France and watched your comrades fall. Raise your hands. Is this some World War One stuff? Is this like a rival gang? A fucking cut in your wages! That is your reward! Raise a hand, all those who want to strike! Yeah! Or is this just the workforce? Hmm, I mean, they got info on him too. That's gonna make it interesting, having the police on their tail right away. He knows how to make an entrance. That's the worker guy. Take a mild. Right. Wow. That's some disrespect right there. Crown of a prince. What the heck? Got razor blades in there. They've had messages coming up from London to the brass, from Winston Churchill himself. Something about a robbery. They're onto him. And on that list was your name and my name together. 
What kind of a list would have a name of a communist and a name of a bookmaker side by side? <laughs> the only difference between you and me, Freddy, is that sometimes my horses stand a chance of winning. <laughs> so they're not friends. You know, there are days that I really wish I'd let you take that bullet in France. Believe me, there are nights I wish you had. So they were in the army together. Hey! Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? Is he having like PTSD or something? We're all home in England. You're not in France. You're not an artillery show, Danny. You're a man. That makes sense. You're all right. You're all right. It's all right. I like that they're comforting him. Did I do it again? He did it again, Danny. <laughs> you gotta stop doing this, man. Can't control him. You go home to your wife now, Danny. Go on. It happens to the best of them. Mr. Shelby, you have to do something about it. Damn right, Harry. You pay the Peaky Blinders a lot of money for protection. Wow. Maybe you should put a bullet in Danny Wiz Bang's head like they do with mad horses. This guy's not afraid to talk to Thomas. I have to put a bullet in my head someday, too. No oh boy. Is that foreshadowing? Bring the bill to the Peaky Blinders. We'll take care of it. At least they pay their debts. <laughs> the show loves this dramatic entrances. Oh boy. Look at the gun. <laughs> Recognize it. Who is she? <laughs> Get up off your ass, you mum pink pig. Oh, Paul! What the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> I was playing with this this afternoon by the cut. It must have fell out of my pocket. Oh, again. With bullets in it? Oh, I must have been drunk. This is a dysfunctional family. When are you not drunk? <laughs> I'm sorry. We'll keep this between ourselves if you swear not to leave guns lying around. Pretty easy rule. Now having four kids without a woman is hard. But my boot's harder. Now come on, we're late. I like her. And in that pub, there was a copper handing out these. And they wanted flyers. A fate and come fight, come to Birmingham. Oh. The last four years, he's been clearing the IRA out of Belfast. How do you know so bloody much? Because <laughs> I asked the coppers on our payroll. And why didn't you tell me? I'm telling you. <laughs> they do not have a... Happy relationship. Anyway, we're peaky blinders. We're not scared of coppers. That's right. If they come for us, we'll cut them a smile each. I don't know. You have nothing more to say to this meeting, Thomas? Nothing that's women's business. What the heck? This whole bloody enterprise was women's business while you boys were away at war. What's changed? We came back. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna cause a lot of ruckus. <laughs> These are some wild streets. Always been able to tell when you're hiding something. Speak, God and Aunt Polly are listening. <laughs> it's definitely hiding something. It was meant to be routine. I asked my men to steal me four bikes. Did this robbery go way wrong? They picked up the wrong fucking crate. Oh god. They must have taken it from the proofing bay instead of the export bay. Messed everything up. God dang. Sweet baby of Mary. <laughs> what in the world is that? We found 25 Lewis machine guns. Those crazy looking guns. 50 semi-automatic rifles, 200 pistols with shells. Jesus, Tommy. Fuel the whole army. Tell me you threw them in the cut. We put them in the stables out of the rain. <laughs> so that's why they sent a cop from Belfast? Maybe, maybe not. So where are the guns right now? You sell those guns to anyone who has use to them. You will hang. That is true. That is a big deal to sell that many guns. The police can find them. Maybe if they know they haven't fallen into the wrong hands, this might blow over. That's a pretty good idea. He won't move contraband under a full moon. Three days until it wanes. Then you'll do the right thing. So we're gonna wait it out. You have your mother's common sense. But your father's devilment. See them fighting. Let your mother win. This Thomas guy is a complicated, complicated guy. Seems like he might battle between good and evil, maybe. I got tickets for the Penny Crush. I'm not in the mood for the pictures tonight either. Well, I'm not doing it here again. I got covered in mud last time. Was this girl in that Shelby family meeting? I'm with you because you're the only man around here not scared of them. Oh, I'm scared of them, all right. But you love me more than you fear them, right? <laughs> I don't want to be always sneaking about. Sue, so, we'll tell them. When? I feel like he's using her. How did the family meeting go? There's a new copper coming. I heard. Probably just using her for more information. She's really given up all the info. Give me a kiss, Princess Aida. <laughs> wow. 
Well, this complicates things. Wow. It's a really beautiful shot right here. Really liking how the show looks so far. But who is this lady? I'm here about the job as a barmaid. Are you mad? <laughs> Job's been filled. It was in yesterday's paper. Believe me, love. I'm doing you a favor. Female in a pub. <laughs> Too pretty. They'd have you up against a wall. I have experience. You would definitely be objectified every day. <laughs> I worked in Dublin. You too pretty. Watch. At least he's looking out for her. And listen. I wish I was only for night. <laughs> what is this? Have all passed down now. How is singing gonna help your job? In Ireland, my singing made them cry and stop them fighting. <laughs> you think that will work, huh? Well, I hope you know a lot of songs. I guess that could work. So this guy's the top dog. Babies discarded with the fish bones and eggshells. What? Fathers with their daughters, brothers and sisters sharing beds. What the heck? The Peaky Blinders. The vicious, merciless gangs cut out the tongues of those who talk. It's a pretty brutal gang, huh? Worse than them. No oh, way. Wow. How many of these people are getting paid off? Those of you who look the other way, you are worse than them. It's really shaming them. It is my job to decapitate each one, and by God, I will do it. <laughs> He's determined. Just any of yous. <laughs> I wonder how, how many are paid off. By the time the sun sets, they will be sworn in and in uniform, and by sunrise tomorrow, they will be on the streets. Got some new recruits, huh? God help those who stand in our way! He's pretty confident. I want a blow job off both of you before they let the ordinary people in. Got the whole theater to himself. Thank you, that. <laughs> Except for the cops. Fuck you! Jump off the fucking Shelby! Oh, wow. <laughs> you got knocked down a peg? Jesus, they beat the crap out of him. They're not doing this the legal way. Lead pack dog of the Peaky Blinders. What are they gonna do with him right now? <laughs> wow. This guy's not messing around. Is he able to arrest him right now? Your uniform. They all got raised blazing. I want you to see this is me introducing myself to you. The only thing that interests me is the truth. This is just a big power play, huh? How do you know about the robbery? Oh, the robbery. No, oh, no. Gonna break his finger. What do you know about the robbery? What fucking robbery? Oh, again. Ah! ah. Uh. To be fair, it probably does a lot of robberies. <laughs> I can tell just by snuffing the air whether or not you're lying. I'm no fucking lying! I mean, what can they even do with him? I know. Is there a chance he actually doesn't know what's happening? That is well within my power to have you and the rest of your scum family face down on the canal before the year is out. Wow. On the other hand, we can help each other. What do you mean by that? So are his goals bigger than just taking down the Peaky Blinders? Hello? Oh god, is this gonna be a love interest? Whatever it is, it's something else. A whole bottle. Where's your dark room? Okay. They have similar eyes. Are you a whole? Because <laughs> if you're not, you're in the wrong place. That was his way of giving a compliment. Looking for you since he got back from France. Tommy doesn't want anybody at all. Yes, lads. I think that just makes her more interesting. I'm a trained nurse. <laughs> that will make me laugh. It hurts me face. <laughs> I learned how to stop somebody from choking. I'm not bloody joking, am I? He looks so bad. <sighs> Ow. He said Mr. Churchill sent him to Birmingham. Something about a robbery. So he really has no idea? Wants us to be his eyes and ears. I said... <laughs> Did say that a lot. We'd have a family meeting. Take a vote. What does Thomas want to do? Well, why not? Hmm? Well, you've no truck with Fenians. Or communists. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck, he's wrong with him lately. If I knew, I'd buy the cure from Compton's chemists. So he's been acting differently, huh? Ah, 
I don't care if it. Ready putting on a whole show. Wow, she didn't stop at all. That sings on the tree. Kill the vibe, Thomas. We haven't said singing in here since the war. Why do you think that is, Harry? Is he not a fan? <sighs> I feel like these two's relationship is going to cause some big problems. So did Arthur say uh, kind of a deal this new copper offered him? God, the, the second your balls are empty, it's back onto politics. That's the reason he's here. You know what he'd do if he found out about us? He could try. Sometimes it's like you're with me just to show you can. You're onto it. One day me and Tommy will be on the same side again. I don't know about that. He's having weird dreams. Come on! You done it! Oh god. <sighs> Are these like flashbacks to things that happened? <sighs> He has some PTSD. Oh my god. British cops look so weird. <laughs> it's not all there in the head. Oh god. This guy's having another episode. We're close. <laughs> go home. What is he gonna do? I say go home, crazy. I feel like he's gonna attack this guy. Oh no. I said go home. No. No. That's why you don't confront a crazy man. God dang. That guy needs to go into a mental in institution. Mr. Churchill, sir. May I say what a great honor it is to meet you? Love the hat. Thank you. It's Beaver. <laughs> Are you settling in? This is Winston Churchill, the president. So who do you think stole the guns? If it is the IRA Fenians. I will find them and find the guns. If it is the communists, I will find them and find the guns. <laughs> if it is common criminals, I will find them and find the guns. This man's confident. We must keep the existence of these stolen guns out of the news, otherwise we're simply advertising them for sale. It's got a point. Dig holes and dig them deep. You want this all under the radar. Get aboard. There's no moon. Where are they bringing it? They'll be found by rare women first thing. Does he have other planes? I changed my mind. Oh god, what is he gonna do? I have an alternative strategy. Does he want to sell them? Have you lost your fucking mind? <laughs> Seems like it. They've sent a fucking army to find these things. That's right. They've shown their hand. <laughs> their hand? <laughs> back this bad, they'll have to pay. What? The way of the world. He's gonna sell it back to the government? You're going to bring only hell down on your head. <laughs> This copper takes no prisoners. I'm told he didn't serve. Reserved occupation. Oh well. Wow. He's got some info on him. The tobacco wharf. By order of the Peaky Blinders. Wow. He's not backing down. That is crazy. Wow. It's a cool looking building. Are you in possession? I am, sir. I knew it. I wish I would have said it earlier, but I was thinking it the whole time. I'm quite shocked at how these people live. It was so suspicious he just joined out of nowhere. It strikes me that it isn't Arthur who heads the Shelby family. It's the younger one, Thomas. They say he won two medals for gallantry in the war. You sound fascinated. I think she is. I believe the guns were taken by the IRA. You must not let your personal history clear your judgment. Yeah. What's going on here? That the IRA murdered my father will not affect my judgment. Seems like it is. If you see any guns, check the serial numbers against that list. I think she's going to play double agent. I know, he'd be very, very proud of you. I think she went in this working with the police, but she's going to end up working with the Peaky Blinders. Danny, as you know, the man you killed was Italian. Those two men over there are his brothers. Oh God, what's about to happen? If I let the Italians do this, Danny, they'll cut off your manhood and let you drain. That's how those bastards do things. But he's not going to let that happen, is he? To save you from their barbarity, I said I would dispatch you myself. Oh, wow. They're here to witness. He has to kill him. Dang. I died over there anyway, Tommy. Wow. That is sad. You have any last requests, comrade? You look out for my Rosie and my boys. Wow, he has a wife and kids. See, they get apprenticeships and they'll make foreman. I know they will. Wow, this is sad, man. 
time has come. Don't bury me anywhere there's mud. Promise me. <laughs> bury me on a hill and tell Rosie where. That'd be nice. You're a good man and a good soldier. Yes, Sergeant Major. So he was a sergeant in the army? So he's just gonna shoot him. Pretty brutal. Ugh. Dang. They're satisfied. Wow. At least he can do it himself. More respectable. Where are you? Not a good day at work. Hey, bloody one. Monaghan boy. Bloody one! What? Yeah. Hey, hey, one. That was his plan, wasn't it? And word will spread. So the next time we do the powder trick, it won't be just a garrison that'll bet on the horse. It's an investment. And the third time we do it, when we are ready, the horse will lose. Wow. Playing the long game. It's a big investment. Think about it. He's smart. That's the difference between him and Arthur. I think Arthur's gonna end up hating Thomas. What? You okay, Danny? I'm still in shock. Are you sure this isn't heaven? They faked his death? Tommy wanted you to think it was real. Try and knock some sense into you. How did they do that? A shell full of sheep brains, so it's pretty bad. Oh, what? They shot sheep brains at his head? Tommy has a little job for you. Give you a chance to say thanks. That's amazing. You're a picky blind in there, Danny. What can you trust this crazy guy with? <laughs> Never thought that was fake. Never even would have thought that was possible. Holy crap. Oh, there was no moon last night. Did you do the right thing? Yes, I did the right thing. Question is, what is the right thing? He seems to have a different idea than everyone else. Is that just like ash in the air or something? So I got some fake blood on him. I mean, it's real blood, but... <laughs> That's the episode. That was really enjoyable. I think it did everything a first episode should. Established all the conflicts and gave us some interesting insight into many of the characters. And I'm really liking Thomas as the main character. He seems really complex and he's not afraid to do things his own way. Seems like he's not going to back down from anybody. At the end there when he, when I thought he killed his friends, I was like, okay, he's making a compromise with the Italians. But even that he's not willing to do. Somehow faking his death. And I'm really curious to see what job he has for him. Because with his PTSD, he's a little bit of a loose cannon. And I'm already seeing a little bit of tension between Thomas and Arthur. Seems like they both want to be the one making all the calls. Though I don't think their relationship's going to be a very good one. It's really going to be a big battle between the government and the Peaky Blinders. It's going to be really interesting to see what they do with these guns. And I know things are going to get crazy coming up. So if you enjoyed my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.